Hello everyone, welcome back to Face the Black Nation channel. Coming back at you with a timely video. I do want to say that I do apologize for not bringing out any videos from Monday through Wednesday. On Monday and Tuesday, I was off. So that's why I didn't come out with any videos. But Wednesday, something dramatic took that happened. Um, I checked the notification on my phone that there was an issue that took place to my vehicle. So as I'm walking outside of my apartment and I'm going to my vehicle, there was this guy. He he said, is that your Benz? And I said, yes. And he said, oh, I don't seen the person who busted the window. And I was like, are you serious? So I checked and sure enough, my window was busted. Now, this was and then they had the glove door um, glove department open and of course there wasn't anything in there for them to steal and then he was like maybe the tile that my tile that I had over the show over the um display he said maybe they thought that it was something that was worthy in there and I'm like I have my tile covering this ever since I bought the vehicle in January so as you can see sure enough as I I really can't believe that I had my window busted. And so I had to take it into the dealership because I did call one shop to see if they could replace my window. And when I told them what type of vehicle it was in the year and they said that I had to go to the dealership. So I went to the dealership and now guess how much it is? It's twenty five eighty. That's how much I have to pay in order to replace it. Twenty five eighty. And I'm like, ouch. Yes, my insurance is going to cover 500 deductible, $500, and I do get a reimbursement, but it's a simple fact that I have to spend that type of money, and now I probably have to wait like 7 to 10 business days in order for me to get that money back. That's the hurting part of it all. All right, so just want to just, you know, spill that out as to what took place over the last three days. So today I want to come at you with a video, I'm sorry, with the news developing story from CNN. And it is a video, I'm going to post the link in the description so that you can see it yourself, where it says that Asian Americans are fed up with the city's crime are shifting to the right. And this is taking place in San Francisco. There is this this particular gentleman who is an Asian activist and he was basically saying in the video that um a lot of their people are really going to start voting for the right because they're seeing that the left the Democratic Party is not doing enough for their people to protect them from who else from us because inside of the video they are constantly showing videos of our people that is committing the problems. Now, I know for a fact that we are not the ones that, you know, just committing the problems. Because how is it that the Caucasian community, they were the ones that was harassing the Asian community in larger numbers. But all of a sudden, since Biden done got in office... All of a sudden, it switched on us to our people as attacking these individuals. You see, we have no reason to attack the Asian community. That's the thing. We never have attacked them. And for what? There is no reason. And if these individuals are also afraid of us, if they don't like to be around us, then why in the world do they conduct business in our community? We have the Chinese restaurant. We have the other uh, Asian individuals who can who have their nail shops in our community we have these beauty supply stores that are in our community if they are so afraid of us why are they in our community why don't they take their stuff their businesses and go to the asian community or the caucasian community or any other community and conduct business there but see the reason why they won't do that is because they know that those people will not support their businesses their own people will not support their businesses in such a way because they you don't see them getting their nails done a lot. You don't see them going to the beauty supply stores a lot because there's no need for them to have the hair weave. Our women, we're the ones that give them the billions of billions of dollars in order for our hair to resemble their hair, which it is a mental illness. 
I, for the life of me, do not understand as to why some of our women feel the need to put weave in their hair. But at the same time, if you do put weave in your hair, how come you are not in sole control of it? Our women should be in sole control of the hair market, but they are not. And these people are. You see, our women, they need to get on board because, see, during during the time where everything was shut down, I don't want to say it, but during the time where everything was shut down about a year or two ago, um, the Asian community took a major loss because black people were not supporting them. So they had to go to the government and ask for help in order for their businesses to stay alive because they were suffering. So what I say that is that our women can do a lot if they will stop supporting these beauty supply stores and if they will stop going to these nail salons and if they will also stop and if also our people will stop going to their restaurants because again you don't know what you're eating. You really indeed don't do not know what you are eating. You could be eating pigeon, you could be eating rat, you just don't know what you're putting inside of your body and it could hurt you. Now, I'm saying all of this because these individuals, all of a sudden, they're going to start claiming that they want to vote for the Republican Party. They also using the word the word woke to describe us is trying to say that they have been woken up themselves, but they're using it in such a way to distract um, and to take away the issues that we are going through that's exactly what they're trying to do because that is what this particular activist has said that him and his people they are awoken now so now they want to try to use our word because they can't come up with anything for themselves that is going to shed the spotlight on what they are going through but see they want to play the game the blame game as saying that we are the problems when there is countless of stories and videos of showing how the caucasians are the ones that has been antagonizing them that has been bothering them the longest we haven't again we do not have a reason to attack them and if there are and and we could see too that um a lot of these individuals that supposedly attacking these Asians, you could tell that they look like they are scripted because the way how they are doing it. Some of them they just showing them hitting them on the head or or slapping them. And there could be a police officer right in the same area and the police officer don't do anything. And it's almost like, are you serious? You mean to tell me that we should accept this and actually think that this is really going on to their people? Our young people are supposedly pushing them as they're walking just to be pushing them. There's no reason behind that. There's no reason to rhyme behind any of that because all that is happening is putting a, a, a bigger target on our backs trying to make light as to the situations that we go through as black people living in America because see we are harassed because we are black we are harassed because our complexion is black by other groups and now you have these so-called model minorities they want to be oppressed as well and want to take the spotlight and say look we are being oppressed by the very people who claim to be oppressed that's exactly where this narrative is going that's where it's going so that people will be like, you know what, well, who cares about what black people is going through? Look at what they're doing to the Asian community. That's exactly what they want this situation to go to. And for the life of me, it's starting to work because you have more and more of these so-called Asian activists that's coming out and they showing their racism towards us. And that's what it's all about. See, they always had a disdain towards us, but yet they have no problem taking our money. And that's the issue that I have with our people. I'm like, why in the world are we giving these people our money when they do not want to be bothered by us? They do not want to be around us. We should not be giving them our money whatsoever. We should be letting, we should be starving out their businesses by not giving them any of our business. Let, let's starve them out of our communities and support one another. There are black owned, I know living here in the city of Chicago, there are a few black owned beauty supply stores and black owned nail salons as well. Now, I do know the difference with the black uh, nail salons, which I wish that our women would move away from, is that they have you to pay um, to be serviced. They have you to pay at least 5 to $20 
in order for you to be serviced by them and you have to set up a schedule and sometimes that schedule may be two weeks out and in your mind you're saying I can't wait two weeks and I don't have the time to sit up go on your website and to pay a down payment just to see you in two weeks I should be able to see you right away that's the only difference that the Asian community has over us which makes it easier for our women to go see the Asian people because our women they have it that way and it's kind of messing them up and then you see that their businesses is suffering even though our women they actually go to school to learn how to be nail artists they actually clean their supplies and they do all of that but they're really hurting themselves and they really need to make things better for themselves so that they can you know grow and to recoup and a lot of money that could come their way to help them and their families because we should be tired of giving our money away to them so that they can send their kids to college and to get into positions that's going to help oppress our people that's the thing we're putting people through college who is going to get put into position that is going to help oppress our people in the future we need to stop and we need to think about that because that is what, what is happening to us. And then we're wondering why there are so many minorities who are in office and then there's not enough of us foundational black Americans who are in office and we cannot move an inch. And the vast majority of them, they do uh, identify themselves as being Democrats because the Democrats are supposedly are supposed to be immigrant friendly versus the Republicans. But now the Asian communities are sitting up saying that we're no longer going to be Democrats, that we are going to go and be Republicans. That's also going to be a major problem for us. It's going to be a problem for us because now we're going to have more groups that hates us to be oppressing us in every which way because see in China the way how they have their crediting system is based off of what you are doing as a person and in America it's like they want to adopt that and if they do adopt that then that's going to continue to make us the permanent bottom cast because they're not going to give us the credit that we need in order for us to move up that is the way how they want to justify things by having things to be based on your your actions based on the credit that you should get. Now, this can really hurt our people as a whole. Like I said, making us a permanent bottom cast group of people in America. Remember how I said that you already have people that is asking questions about what is the point of having black Americans in America in the first place? They're no longer useful. That's what they are saying. So we have to find a way. We really have to get on cold because we have always been in the race war. But now we are seeing that these other immigrants, they're popping up and they're getting loud and bold with their racism towards us. So it's no longer us having an issue with the Anglo-Saxons. We have to deal with the other groups who wants to be Anglo-Saxons, but they are not. We have to deal with their racism and their racism is very ugly. See, they have a disdain towards us and for some reason our people like to gravitate towards these people thinking that everything is going to be okay when they are not if they believe that they can just sleep with them thinking that it's going to erase racism when it is not all it is is just a slave play that's going on in their mind that is it that's it so I'm going to make sure that you guys um, please get a chance to watch that video. I am going to post the link inside of the description so that you can see it yourself um, because this is something important. This is something that we are going to have to continue to put up and to face with on a daily basis as far as dealing with these people who have a hatred for us. We, we have to deal with another group who has a hatred for us and we're going to have to try to figure out a way to nip that in the bud as well. We have to put up a fight, people. It's, it's a long one, but it's something that we have to say, okay, enough is enough. We need to buckle down. We need to fix our problems and we need to put up this long standing fight against these people who wish to do us harm. 
And don't forget that you, this is the reason why we need to have men in the household because the men, black men in the household will help curb some of the issues that take place to the family. So our black woman needs to get on board and they need to join hand in hand with the black man because we need each other and we need each other bad. I want to thank you guys for listening to me and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.